Hello everyone, my name is Jim Nora. I'm with Tomahawk Power, and today I'm here to talk to you about our portable generator sets. If you're not gonna be using your generator for many months or you're storing it away for the winter, uh, general uh, best practice is to drain it of gasoline and oil. Um, it's not the end of the world if you leave the oil in there, but I highly recommend uh, draining the gasoline. If it sits too long, it loses um, it's octane and can cause issues when you go to start it up in the spring, as an example. So um, if you're going to be storing it for many months on end, you're not sure next time you're going to use it, make sure it's drained of every, uh, everything it has and um, cover it up. Make sure that the fuel cap is back on so no dust or debris gets into the fuel tank um, and you should be good to go next time you need it. Uh, on a single tank of gasoline with Tomahawk power generators, if you're uh, putting out 50% of the power that the generator is capable of, you're uh, across our line, you're looking anywhere from eight to 10 hours of runtime at 50% load is how it's referred to. Um, if you're going to be need, pulling more electricity from that generator, that time frame is going to drop a bit. Um, but again, it just depends on the electrical demands you, you'll be requiring. If you're only pulling about 25% of the capability, uh, you can expect that runtime to be closer to you know, that 13 to 14 hour mark. Can I run a generator in bad weather? The short answer to that is yes. Many individuals buy portable generator sets for emergency situations specifically in the off chance of a power outage, flooding, hurricane, things like that, tornadoes. Um, if you're one of those individuals, make sure you're following all the safety precautions. Never run a generator, regardless of the brand, in a closed environment without proper ventilation. Never run it inside, even with the windows open. It's highly, highly dangerous and can lead to death. Make sure if you're running a generator in emergency storm weather situations, keep it away from doors and windows, uh, at least 20 feet away from the home, and make sure the exhaust uh, is not pointed towards any open windows or doors either. So how would I store fuel for my portable generator set? Uh, I would use some fuel stabilizer, particularly if I wasn't gonna run the unit for several months. Um, I would probably have a flammable uh, safety cabinet that I would store it in. You never wanna store any gasoline or combustible products in uh, open air. Uh, in the off chance that there would be a spark or anything like that, if there are vapors in the air, it could lead to an ignition, uh, which is of course not what you wanna do. Um, so I always recommend keeping it in an enclosed uh, uh, safety rated cabinet um, and use some fuel stabilizer. It's gonna prevent any octane loss over time. Thanks for learning about generator maintenance with us at Tomahawk Power. If you have any additional questions, be sure to leave those in the comments. And as always, like and subscribe for more insightful tips.